All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Arkakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone and a sincere Shalom to Yahakim, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And as you see, um, this is from uh, Twitter. You now, uh, Kanye West, he posted this. It says, uh, they make us attack each other, even our brothers who know who we truly are. And as you see in the headlines, it says, former Nets coach Amari Stoudemire on Kyrie Irving. You made a mistake, so apologize for it. Now, this nigga himself has, has said publicly in which uh, that he was raised understanding and knowing he was a Hebrew Israelite. So why would he go back? Why would he then go back and say that what Kyrie is saying is, is wrong and he needs to apologize for it? If he knows the truth, well, well, let's go into it. One reason is because Esau is using him, as um, Kanye said, this is Second uh, Corinthians 2 and 11. And he reads, um, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Esau has always used a Jake <clears throat> as a tool against one another, man. And even when you go back into the, the, the um, what's the book called? Uh, the Lynch book, man. <clears throat> Uh, Lord will, I can't, I'll get the, the, the whole name of it, you know, but even going back into the book where it's breaking down how, or where it um, explains how to break down, you know, Jake, man, as a slave, you know, it says what, well, we'll put the strongest slave, uh, we'll bring him out into the, 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 in front of all the rest of them, you know, and we'll break him, we'll humiliate, humiliate him in front of his family, you know, and we'll slowly start to basically, uh, put him in this, uh, decaying state. So, Everybody underneath him, he sees that he was once the strongest, but now he's being broken to put fear in everyone else. Well, that's exactly what's what's happening here, man. You know, Kanye is in a in a light in which he has a major influence, in which he's in the hands uh, of a bunch of different uh, projects with a bunch of different companies. So with him coming out and saying what he said, which is the truth, by the way, you know, that the so-called Negroes are the Jews spoken of in the scriptures. A, along with uh, the the, the so-called uh, Latin and Native American uh, um, uh, people of America, man, and uh, Southern America, and the rest of the, the 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 twelve tribes scattered abroad, man, as the scriptures speak of, you know. <clears throat> but with him saying that, a of course he is going to be mad. You now does he is he fully bringing out the the truth, you know, backed by scriptures? No. Hey, but he is bringing out uh, um, evidence. Uh, whether it be documents or public information that, that the public just don't want to accept, even though it's the truth. When he brought up that, that picture of the list of all the companies owned by, uh, uh, can't even say their names, man. <laughs> Our video is going to be taken down, but whatever. Amalek, you know, when he brought up the picture of all the, the, the videos brought up by the small hats, what happened? The people went uh, outraged. They were outraged by it. Oh, well, well. Well, he literally showed you all the highlighted names of the companies. Where was the lie in that? That's a fact that they own those companies that he showed. But it's not about truth, man. It's not about truth. The people, hey, it's a, um, a quote that says, hey, when all or when moral decay has occurred, you know, truth, even when presented with evidence and facts, still is considered as a lie. <clears throat> Right. So I'm going to grab another precept as well, because. Oh, so lucky. I want to uh, bring this out because for Amari Stoudemire. Right. I got these links here. I got these links. Now, here you see this. Under his name, it says American Israeli professional basketball player. Right. Because it says he joined the small hats in October 30th, 2019. He joined him in 2019, you know, so he's he can he doesn't consider himself an Israelite anymore. He just says he's an Israeli. He played basketball over there and whatever. But it says this under his name. It don't say this under no other Jake name, man, that they're an American Israeli professional basketball player. Now, I also want to go to this. Now, this is from <laughs> called the Jewish Insider. <laughs> it says Amari Stoudemire cl uh, clarifies. He quit his job due to Shabbat or Sabbath observance, observance challenges, right? Um, let me get into it. 
It says he revealed on Wednesday that he quit his position as an assistant coach. Now this was in uh, May nineteenth, twenty twenty two, is when the article was um basically uh posted by Jacob Miller. Um, it says because of his difficulties fulfilling his job as a Shabbat observant Jew. It says Stoudemire explained his decision in an Instagram post, clarifying his early announcement that he was leaving his post after two years as a net player development assistant. Um, he says a mutual understanding. Not working on Friday night and Saturday night is difficult for anyone to grow in the coaching space because coaching is such a grind. It requires you to be there full time. Now, if you really understood the truth of the Bible, you understand that the Sabbath is not just a Friday night, Saturday night occurrence, man. But the Sabbath can be any day of the week, man. It is all based in according to the new moon, you know. For example, the Sabbath of this month in particular is a Monday night to Tuesday night Sabbath. Last month, it was a Sunday night to Monday night Sabbath. So it changes according to the moon, man. <clears throat> now, it says Stoudemire, who played for teams in both the U.S. and Israeli, uh, uh, including Phoenix Suns, it gives a name, whatever. It says, um, became interested in Judaism, Judaism through his mother's, as you see what I say, and it's, I, they always saying black. It's not no black Hebrew. It's just Hebrew Israelite heritage. And that's exactly who he is, regardless of what he believes in. Hey, you are born a hey, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are born Hebrew Israelites, man. That's our lineage. Regardless of whether you believe it or not, it's just the truth. It says, um, speaking about his time with the Nets, it's like, yeah. Oh, here we go. This is the point. This is the point right here. Stoudemire also pushed back against media coverage of his disapproval of Nets player Kyrie Irving for his refusal to be jabbed against and highlighted his respect for the all-star guard in his Instagram post. So in his Instagram post, this nigga is defending Kyrie, but now he's going against him. It says, why would I criticize someone who's similar as I am? So, so what's the difference here? You understand who you are, even though you with the, the, the small hats. You know who you truly are, man. He said, why would I criticize someone who's similar as I am? I also fast during the NBA season for Yoram, Yoram, uh, Yoram Kapoor. It says, uh, I'm also a guy who has a religious intake. I'm also a guy who's an activist who speaks out about African-American communities and so forth. So why would I criticize someone who's very similar to I am? So what, what happened to these words, man? What happened to these words? This this the same nigga who who once had on a um a uh, shirt with Yahweh Shai face on it, man. Same Jake that that got a uh, tattoo that say Black Jesus. <laughs> this shows you how Esau uh, buys out and breaks down Jake in order to turn up against one another, man. This is James one and eight. It says, uh, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. When you read in the NIV, it says, such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Right, because he's a hypocrite, man. He's a straight-up hypocrite. Because he's joked himself on together with Esau hey, for, for, for commerce purposes, man. This Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, though hand join your hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Right. He's hand in hand with Esau, man. To what? To throw down another Jake who knows the truth. So so this is this is showing you to what extent there there that persecution for the, the elect is going to be ultimately. Because, you know, right now, the people in which they're persecuting have a high social status. You know, they have a, a large following, you know, so they still have so-called thousands of people who are, are rallying for them and who are supporting them. But the true men of the Lord who are on the highways and hedges, if, if the, they're, they're persecuting these celebrities at this uh, high volume or rate, a, it's only going to increase that much more for the, the members of the elect, man. The men that are on the highways and hedges pushing his word and great um, truth and in order, man. This is Matthew 5 and uh, I'll start here at uh, 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sakes, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. 
For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And we understand the persecution is going to happen, man. The scriptures say what? Hey, Esau is the, the accuser of thy brethren, man. So that, that accusal, you know, uh, that, that slandering of your name. Hey, even this elder Yashawamba did the video uh, this week. He said, hey, man, Esau is about to uh, say things about brothers that, that they never even considered as a thought, man. And he's going to be like, yeah, they did this and they did that. Well, that's part of the slander. That's part of the accusations. Hey, look back at Yahweh Shai's walk. Did not they slander him? Did not they bring up false allegations against him? Did not they accuse him? Hey, well, the servant is not greater than his Lord, man. And Amari Stoudemire chose commerce over consciousness because he knows the truth. He knows exactly who he is. Imagine how, how that nigga mama feel. You know? She know exactly what she, she raised him around. The truth. And he does what? He throws it away. Why trimmest thou ways to seek love, man? Why trimmest thou ways to seek love? Hey, because he, he wants to continue to be rich here. And he received of that consolation. That's why. That's why. Because he wants to be comfortable. Hey, well, the Lord is about to make things uncomfortable for everybody. That's why this place has to go down, man. Because cause truth is seen as lies. And lies is seen as love. You know? So I just want to bring this lesson out to the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ar'akakwadash. And double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.